guys, so today I'm gonna be looking at more relationship stories. Yeah, let's just get right into the video. My partner proposed to me as a joke in front of his friends. My partner and I have been together for almost five years. We lived together and I thought we were on the same page about our future. We were hosting a small get together last night with some of his friends at our apartment. The night was going great. Towards the end of it, everyone started talking about relationships and marriage. His friends have been pushing him to propose for a while, so it wasn't a surprise when the topic came up. Out of nowhere, my partner gets down on one knee and pulls out this ring. He started this whole speech about how much he loves me and how he wants to spend the rest of his life with me. I was in shock and started crying tears of joy. This is something I've been dreaming about for a while now. Just as I'm about to say yes, he bursts out laughing and says, relax babe, it's just a joke. <gasps> Ain't no way he pranked her like that. It's not a prank if it's real. You know what I mean? Like, it's not a prank. This isn't a prank. Why is this a prank? I hate pranks who act like they're doing something and then all of a sudden they're like, it's just a joke. Someone acts like they're cheating and then it's just a joke. Like you literally made your partner feel like shit and now it's just a joke. Or they act like they forget the partner's birthday to try to surprise them. But you already hurt the feelings. <laughs> you know what I mean? And then it's gonna be like, surprise, it was just a joke. So during the whole day, they were butthurt and sad. And then a couple hours of the night, you're just gonna make it up to them and be like, be happy. I hate those kind of pranks where you hurt someone first and then tell them it's a joke. That's my stop. His friends were laughing and I was just standing there completely shattered. He handed me this plastic ring, the kind you get out of a vending machine. I tried to play it off and laugh too, but inside I was dying. I felt so humiliated and hurt. After everyone left, I confronted him about it. He said I was being too sensitive and that it was just a bit of fun, but it wasn't. I've always been serious about our future and this felt like he was mocking my feelings and our relationship. He knows how much I care about this and he made it into a joke. The thing is, he didn't seem to understand why I was upset. He kept saying it was just a joke and I should lighten up. I love him, but this has really shaken me. How do I even start to explain to him how deeply this hurt me? Has anyone else been through something like this? Breaking up over a joke after five years together feels wrong to me, but I feel so hurt right now. I guess it is tough because she doesn't want to throw away the five years she's had with him over a prank, right? But that's so messed up. Why would you prank your girl like that when you know she's dying for a proposal? <laughs> you know what I mean? that's messed up like he should be happy that his girl wants to marry him but no he's gonna take her for granted honestly I hope she dumps him <laughs> that's messed up and it's also the fact that she explained to him how he hurt her and then he dismissed it by being like you're just being sensitive <gasps> so your partner tells you that something you did your action hurt them and you're just gonna be like that's your fault that you're hurt Yo, yeah, girl, dump him. Girl, he doesn't deserve your love, all right? He doesn't deserve to marry someone like you. That just speaks of emotional immaturity, for sure. And the lack of respect for his partner for him to do that in front of everyone. So he embarrassed his partner, humiliated her, and had his friends laugh at her. Girl, I wouldn't want to be his partner after that. Plus, he has shitty friends. None of his friends that have been pushing him to propose to you said it was messed up. Well, at least you know what type of guy he is. And you can break up. My husband of six weeks says he wants to be single. We have been together for nine wonderful happy years. Is this salvageable or is this the end? Okay, so they're just married for six weeks and now he wants to be single? After nine years together? What the hell? No way you waste 10 years of your life with someone, someone who knows everything about you, and then you're just gonna be like, I don't like you anymore. <laughs> How? Why? My partner and I have been together for almost nine years. We have always had the best relationship, full of love and joy. We had shared visions of the future and a very similar financial and ambitious mindset. We fought here and there, but in those nine years, we have never had any major conflict. We both love each other's families and they love us. Everyone always said they were jealous of our relationship because it seemed so effortless, and it was. We got married about six weeks ago and everything leading up to that point seemed fine. We had a wonderful wedding day and both read heartfelt vows and cried during the ceremony. 
I had no reason to believe anything was wrong. About two weeks after the wedding, we started talking more about the honeymoon, which we planned to take later in the year and other plans. And he seemed very uneasy with making future plans and started saying that we shouldn't rush and that we just got married and to take it easy. I didn't understand why as I wasn't rushing anything. And this was the plan we had both agreed to earlier to have the honeymoon about seven months after the wedding. Eventually, he told me that the whole marriage thing is freaking him out and his realizing that maybe it's not something he really wanted for himself. That his feeling weird that we've been together all through our 20s and I'm the only relationship he has ever had and he never had enough time to be single he says he may be proposed out of societal pressures and because he just felt it's what you were supposed to do he says i'm perfect and he loves me and he just wishes that we had met five years later so he would have had that time to be on his own i said those are all valid feelings but what are the options here it's okay to mourn the past but we're already married he said he had some doubts before the wedding but thought it was already too late as so many people had money in it and i was so excited about it and he didn't want to crush my dreams in hindsight, we both agreed it would have been better had he mentioned it then. Hmm? Isn't it a good thing, like a flex, that your partner is your only relationship? I would love to be in a relationship with someone and them being the only person I have in my entire life. The only person I've ever fallen in love with. Okay. Alright. I see. So what? So what is he regretting? That he wasn't able to sleep with other girls beforehand that he didn't have his chance to be single I mean you can still have your own space right I'm so confused like where the hell is this going we've now been discussing this for a month no fights we just both end up getting very emotional have tried individual and couples therapy and I left the house for a couple of weeks just to give us both some mental space we agreed we were still together during that time frame though when I came back he ended up asking for a break where we are both single for a few months and then reconvene at an agreed upon date and see where we are. That's wild. Just after getting married, he's really going to be like, let's take a break. <laughs> Boy! Boy! No! <laughs> Not after you guys got married. No, it's either divorce or nothing. Okay? If he wanted that break, he should have asked her for it before getting married. I just can't imagine getting married to someone and then what, like a month later, they're going to be like, I think we need a break. We're, we're both single and, you know, try new things out. <laughs> but we got married. That's wild. I was completely shocked by this and told him that I don't believe in that. We either figure it out together or we are broken up for good. I asked if there's anything else we can do within the relationship to try to get him to a better mental state and he said he didn't think so. He really feels the only option is for us to not be together right now. I'm completely devastated and blindsided by this. I think he's going through some sort of grass is greener syndrome where he's wondering what else is out there and mourning not being single for longer. But if he does end up going on dates and realizing that it's not as good as he thought, I don't want him to think that I'll be waiting on the sidelines as a safety net. Legit. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Isn't this just an excuse to cheat though? Right? Because it's like, I want to break. And I want to see other people before we get back together. That's just an excuse to cheat. Like you either just break up or stay together. Seriously. Break up and then you can do whatever you want. You know, you can sleep with other women. Do whatever you want. You're free, okay? You're a free man. Or don't. <laughs> it's one or the other. You can't just be like, yeah, but I want other relationships and I want you to wait for me. <laughs> no. Selfish. This may or may not be related. I asked him if there's someone else. He said no, but he has been spending some time with a female friend he met at the gym a couple months ago. They work out together two to three times a week, which I don't usually have a problem with. He's a big gym guy and very social and has other female workout buddies before with no issues. However, he has also started spending time with her after the workout. Grabbing a coffee or a meal together and being shifty about it with me. This is new for him. While I don't think anything physical has happened, I definitely think there's some emotional cheating there and I wonder if this has impacted his thoughts at all. He swears she has nothing to do with the way he's been feeling and that he's been feeling this way for a while, which I do believe, but maybe this has intensified his feelings. Oh, that's why. He's envisioning a life with this girl. That's why. <laughs> he's like, no, I don't like it. Oh, okay. I don't know, I feel like it's so obvious 
when guys are like this. Mm, I don't like her, but you know, I spend a lot of time with her. But no, I don't like her. For the way that I'm feeling towards you right now, she has nothing to do with it. Guilty. I cannot imagine giving up nine years of history together. Especially when we just had such a beautiful wedding that everyone was so excited to be a part of. But the way he has acted for the last month is so unlike him. And doesn't seem at all like the person I have been with all these years. Is this salvageable at all? I just realized I'd be so pissed. You know, like having all these amazing guests and you just had your wedding, right? And then, you know, high chance now you're gonna have to be like, yeah, we're not together anymore. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's just next level embarrassing. I mean, not embarrassing for her, but him, because seriously. Ah, oh, he could have told her everything before the freaking wedding, but no, he didn't. Oh, there's an update. Confirmed that he's 100% cheating. Okay, well, nothing new. We, we kind of expected that, which sucks, but it actually makes me feel better about the gut feeling I had about the girl. Oh. I wonder what happened. I mean, come on, context. <laughs> so I'm assuming she probably just started talking to the girl because that's what I would do and just let her know or like ask her because maybe she doesn't know he's married. Maybe she doesn't know. And then she can spill all the tea. And then we can be best friends afterwards. Well, if she didn't know he was a married man. But if she knew, then F her. <laughs> you know, F them both. Bye. You guys can be together. Have fun being together. It's the fact that this guy has such an amazing partner. You know, she's not even controlling. She's not even jealous, okay? Some women won't let... <laughs> their boyfriends or husbands do this go out with other women have a female gym buddy everyone gets jealous once in a while but this person was like it's fine I trust him <sighs> but he really ruined it it's crazy he had such a great partner who trusted him wholeheartedly and he ruined everything he had everything in life and he ruined it that was his first love, all right? And he ruined it. That's crazy. Like, why would you give up your first love for a fling, okay? That, that's mad. Well, that's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Tell me in the comments down below what your thoughts are. And as always, thanks for watching. Hope you guys liked it. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.